All right, somebody sent me a screenshot from the Studio Web Beginners Python course asking me a question. So here's one of the code challenges in the course where we have to check to see, well, I'll just read the question. Update the code below. So we are checking if the car variable contains either BMW or Audi. So he put in this answer. And at first glance, this may seem correct, but it's actually incorrect. And let me demonstrate. So I got my trusty IDLE. So I'm going to create a car variable, car equals, we'll call it uh, bat car. So we got our bat car, right? So we type in car, ID, LE, said, so yeah, the car variable contains bat car. Cool, cool, cool. So now let's do our little conditional, our if statement. So if car is equal, double equals comparing, you're checking inside of values. The car is equal to BMW or Audi. There we go. And now we're going to say, if it is equal to BMW or Audi, we say, we got a cool car, but not as cool as the bad car. That's clear, right? When I enter this, you've done basic Python, you know that this should return false, right? Because we're checking to see if, it, if car variable, car variable contains BMW or Audi. Now it contains bad car. So when this runs, it shouldn't print out anything. It should only print out if car contains BMW or Audi. So let's just hit enter and see what happens. What? What? This doesn't make any sense. Because right now Python said, yeah, car does contain either BMW or Audi. But we know right here, car doesn't contain BMW or Audi. Car contains bad car. How can we check? We go car. Indeed, it says bad car. So why is this happening? Well, first of all, we know that this code is wrong. So what's happening is we're fooling ourselves because this second or here where we're checking this string of text, what Python is actually checking to see if this is actually true or not. And it's a string of text, so it's true. It's kind of a weird thing. I won't get into the details here, but this is the wrong syntax for a conditional if you're going to check for two values. The way you're supposed to do, or a car, see, we got to do it like this. And then we go print. It is a Batmobile, but whatever, like that. I hit enter, nothing prints. Why? Because it's not true, because car is a bat car. So if we do that again, I just copy this, and I'm going to go bat car. Now we enter this. Ah, it is a bar, well, not barmobile. Anyway, you get the idea. So that's an example of a peculiar behavior, I suppose. At least from a beginner's point of view, it seems kind of weird. But uh, remember, this first syntax will always return true because this will always be considered true by Python. I won't get into the details. You want to get into the nerd details, you can. What you should take away from this is that if you want to check for two values with an if statement, nerds will call this a conditional, you have to do it like this. This will always return true, which means it will screw up your code badly. All right, that's it, bye.